welcome to Minish Cups and Cloth Pads Kenya. So today I'm doing a video about China cheapies, but because I don't own any myself, I've decided not to display any here because I don't want to offend anybody or, I don't know, get sued or anything like that. So I'm just going to be doodling. So what are China cheapies? So China cheapies are basically just any generic affordable product. You can call them knockoffs, off-brand, whatever it is, but they are basically an imitation of something that is already in existence, right? So, are China cheapies from China? Um, not necessarily. You can get China cheapies that are from other different countries. However, I think because they are very commonly from China, that name just kind of stuck. Um... Why do people buy China cheapies? So the first reason that people will buy China cheapies is because you can save a lot of money, right? You will be spending a fraction of the price on that you would spend on the stuff that you'd buy from Etsy, for example. And that's because, you know, they're being produced in some like huge factory, let's say in, I don't know, Guangzhou or something like that, right? So they can afford to produce them in bulk. But you may be saying, well, I'm not bought anything from China. I bought it from Amazon or eBay or whatever it is. So yeah, you've no, maybe not bought it from China and you even bought it from an American seller and it's American branded, American registered. However, let's say you had Guy A, right? And Guy A flies... To China and he goes to the factory and he buys a bunch of pads and he comes back to the USA where he will brand them so let's say he calls them I don't know USA pads right so you've got USA pads and then he puts them onto Amazon or eBay so you're buying an American branded product with an American name from an American seller, but it's originally from China, for example, right? So that's how the whole thing works. Um, so another reason why people buy them, and this all ties up with this, is how fast you can get them, right? You can get them almost immediately. So today is, I don't know, the 14th, right? Tomorrow... On the 15th, using Amazon Prime, for example, you will have them in your home, ready to wash and use, so everybody is happy. Okay, so that's another reason. Now, when you buy stuff on eBay, um, I mean on Etsy, rather, you, can, you do find shops where they have ready-to-ship stuff, and you can get them really, really quickly. However, there are a lot of uh, makers who also do customs and stuff like that, so if there's anything in particular that you want to order, and some makers just... Their stuff sells out so fast, you ha you can be waiting a week, two weeks, a month, you know, just to get one of their products. So that is one of the advantages of buying the China cheapies, that is that it is just instant gratification. The third reason that you would buy China cheapies is because they work. I mean, there's so many reviews that you'll see and YouTube videos and stuff of people who have bought China cheapies and they're super happy with them. Whether it's cups or pads or whatever it is, they are just, you know, for them, it works, right? So those are the reason why you would buy China cheapies. So why would you not buy China cheapies? The first one is that you have no idea what's in your pad or in your cup. Now you have regulatory authorities in other countries or in, in many countries anyway, that have minimum standards about the quality of products or the quality of, of materials that are supposed to be used, right? And so, for example, in the in the US, you have the FDA and you would then say they will say, right, if you're using a cup, it's going to be made of medical grade silicone. Right. So most of the cups which are sold, they have to be medical grade. And I think I'm sure there's like a whole slew of requirements because it's very hard to find certain caps, cups that are not uh, that are available in the rest of the world that are not being sold in the US because of the FDA. Now, a lot of China cheapy cups are made, for example, from food grade silicone, right? So I'm sure some clever person is going to be able to explain why medical grade is preferred. I'm going to just 
haphazard, I guess. And I think it may be something to do with the ability to remain or to be sterilized. I don't know. I'm guessing. I have no idea. So that's one of the things, right? Uh, a second one is that you maybe want to support local businesses. So you want to support the mom and pop shops, the cottage industries, right? And with the China cheapies, you're basically supporting a big organization, a big faceless organization somewhere. So this might be one of the reasons why you say, I want to buy this. I like an individual seller. We have a good rapport. We have a great Kumbaya community on Facebook and everybody's happy and we love each other. And I want to put money in this person's pocket because that money goes straight towards the supporting their family. And it's just, it's just really nice, right? The third one is... I'm going to say the quality of ingredients. So we've already sort of touched on that there. But you might find that your wham pad, right? I know they're not all mums, but I'm just calling them whams because that's what everybody does. Will last 10 years plus. Right. Now, your China cheapies may not. Um, your China cheapies may last you maybe two to five years at a stretch. Right. Um, another reason is that you can often customize your wham pads, right? So you can choose fabric, um, shape, absorbency. You can choose so many things. You can even buy your own fabric and send it in to the stay at home, work at home person who will then make you the exact pad that you want. Now, I do see that on some China cheapies, you can customize some of the options, like you can select um, some of the, the backers, for example, or the fabrics. But in general, if there's a very limited selection, you, you, you get what you get. You know, that's kind of how it is. And sometimes you just, you just pay a price and you get what you get in the post. So that's another reason. Now, would I buy China cheapies? I think I would if I my budget didn't allow me to buy branded products. I think I would certainly consider them because I think my logic would be that it's better to use this, you know, off brand product than to use disposables. Um, would I be worried about some of the health implications? I, I might be, particularly with cups, something that you insert inside you. I think I would probably be worried. I would buy China GP pads, for example. I've even looked at some of the prices, and you know, and I was like, maybe I will buy them just to try them out and see what they're like. Um, so I, I would definitely consider them. A lot of people also use them when they're first starting out with reusable menstrual products and they're thinking, I don't really want to invest a lot of money in something that I may not even like. So they will buy a China cheapy cup or a China cheapy uh, set of pads or whatever it is and then try them out and then may eventually decide that actually I do like to use reusable menstrual products. I would like to maybe invest a little bit more and buy a branded one and they will either de-stash them or they will just segue into branded products and use them hand in hand. So the way I see it is if you want to try them out, then, you know, nobody's paying your bills go ahead and try them out stay safe do your research find out what's in them and just take the leap like i said earlier for me i would rather use china cheapies than use um disposable products at this point in time in my reusable menstrual products journey okay thank you so much for watching